I can only surmise, you seem to be a confused negro. You're proving my point, sir. Uh, uh, a confused negro. Because let proving, me. You're proving, no, let me explain. You're proving my point, monkey. You're proving my point. The fact that you said that I will be necklaced proves my point about the savage nature of the African, the uncivilized nature of the African, the reason why people want to leave mommy Africa. Why would you get offended if you're if you're being called a monkey with all the stuff that has happened to Africa? You mean to tell me all the colonialism, all the all the companies in there extracting the resources, they won't necklace the white people who are over there extracting the resources, but they had necklace a nigga for saying a monkey. You're proving my point. Go ahead, logical black. Black. Go First, ahead. let me go 30 seconds. Everywhere in Africa, they're not setting people on fire. That seems to be the worst reason. And typically, not everywhere, but typically a lot of places in West Africa, because we all know West Africa has the farthest to go. When I was in Botswana, there were barely any murders. When I was in Namibia, there were barely any murders. So not all of Africa is violent and setting people on fire, all right? That's some of them terrible-ass countries. Not all of them are terrible-ass countries. Africans are not savages. You have a, a, Africans, like yourself, and even... Excuse me? I gave you 30 seconds. Excuse me? I'm an American, sir. The fuck did you just call me? I'm an American. Africans like myself? Sir, stop it. Africa is a very uncivilized continent. Stop it. Stop it. What are you fooling, man? All right. We back up in it. So why does this man you just heard right there, this coon, this buffoon, why does he hate himself so much? And why do we all hate ourselves? From Africa to Atlanta, why do black people hate themselves? Well, let's start off with the obvious. Everybody on the planet knows it and we don't want to talk about it. The team sucks. The team sucks. What team? Black team. I'm on the black team. I don't want to be on the black team. You don't get the you don't get to choose. We all got stuck on this team. The black team sucks. It didn't always suck, but right now, it sucks. Team Europe, Team White, ooh, they were balling for a long time. They were undefeated. They went to the championship, what, four or five times in a row. But even they, they starting to fall. But nowhere near the blacks. The Asians. The Asians used to be terrible. Oh, they used to make fun of the Asians real bad. Just like us. They used to insult them the way they look. They don't insult the Asians no more. You, 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 there will be some repercussions for insulting the Asians as a group. They've passed the blacks up. But the blacks, the team sucks. The Jews, about 2,000 years, they used to get their ass whooped. Used to see a Jew kill it and burn it at the stake. You don't, you don't, you don't fuck with Jews anymore. But the blacks, the team sucks. The Indians, the Indians just landed on the moon. India. India has poverty like you wouldn't believe. They have passed the blacks as a group or, or passing them. Even the Mexicans, the native brown people of America, the Mexicans. Oh, the lowly Mexicans. They wanted to talk so much shit about them. They are passing the blacks and most likely already have passed the blacks. It's the worst team. That's why you all try to escape. That's, I'm not black. I'm this. I'm that. I'm this tribe. You don't get to choose. The team sucks. The best of all black people that are doing the best is black people in black America. And that ain't saying shit because we're a mess. We're down bad. Not all of us, but too many to count. Not every African country is bad. Some of those African countries are very, very nice and very beautiful cities. But as a collective, Africa is terrible. It's the best piece of real estate on the earth. The most resources, the most beautiful land. But they can't get it together. We'll get into that. But that's first off. Why do we hate each other? Why do we hate ourselves? Why are we putting bleach and cream on our skin? Why are we burning our hair straight? Because the team sucks and they 
we don't want to be associated with the team. We want to be something mixed, something, I'm half this, I'm half that. I got Filipino blood. I got this, I got that. I'm a Native American. You're black and the team sucks. You come from Africa and the team sucks. I, I, there's no other way to say it. All right. Why does the team suck? Well, let's get to that. First and foremost, most black people believe the negative things that people say about them. You know, uh, white people don't believe the things that everybody says about them. A lot of us, not even just the blacks, the Asians, the Indians, they say that the white man's the devil. Even in China, when before they even met us, they would say the black that the white man is the devil. So it ain't just us. But white people don't really believe they're evil. They believe some of their group has done terrible things, but they don't believe that they're all evil or that there's some type of spawn of Satan that they came out of the caves of Europe. <laughs> they, they don't believe that stuff. In fact, it's, it's, it's damn they're blasphemous. You don't say that Muslims came into Europe and educated us and they're the ones who civilized us. You don't say that. But black people, we believe it. We believe we never invented nothing. We believe we never had a great civilization. We believe that we are closer to monkeys. Just heard some black brothers the other day said, I'm nigga. I'm a nigga. What is a nigga? Nigga is short for nigger, and I say nigga every day. But I wouldn't limit myself to what some other people call me. I'm just a nigga. I can't do shit. We ain't never going to leave this plantation. You might as well stay here. Don't go with Harriet Tubman. An African woman said, told me, Black people can't build a functioning country. And I had to stop her right there. I said, you can't build a functioning country. We've had functioning countries. Botswana is a functioning country and has been that way since the 90s. Rwanda is a growing and functioning country. Kenya has problems, but it's a functioning country. There's too many dysfunctional countries in Africa to count. But nah, 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 nah. But they believe that. They believe that we're something that's unevolved. They believe we need white people. We need the Chinese. Even the Africans even believe that they need black Americans. They don't need us. The only thing that Africans need from black America is our pride. They don't have self-pride. And even our black pride is starting to fall and, and lack. Black people all over from Africa to Atlanta, we believe we can't. Whether you're an African, you believe we can't have a functioning country with a prosperous GDP growing all types of high technology we believe we can't black people in America they don't believe they can go to college and become doctors most black men believe we're stupid by nature I'm telling you the truth I used to believe it until I went to college and just did it I went to college and I figured out I was like man these white people in these classes are stupid started passing them up we believe we can't we, oh, black people have a low IQ. Black people have a low IQ in America. Why do black people have a low IQ? Let me tell you why. Because they're supposed to. I remember I was in the classroom, man, in, in second grade. And the teacher kicked all the black <laughs> all the black males out. Kicked us into the stupid class. You can't. That's illegal. You can't even do that without parents' permission. They just pulled us out the class. Because they didn't want no black males in that, in that class, man. Around them little white girls, man. It's harsh, but we, we believe that. And that high IQ, that intelligence, just like that jump shot, just like we run that, 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 that four flat 40, that comes from training. The more you read, the more you study, the more intelligent you will, be get, you will get. You might not read good now, but the more you read and the more you stumble and you practice and you practice and you practice and you practice, you, practice, you will become better. You will become more intelligent. It comes from training. We don't train anymore. We used to, but no, nah, black Americans do not train anymore. What's the next thing? Why black people hate themselves? It's the hard truth. Black people are one of the, f the only groups of humans on the earth that want to be loved by other non-black people. We don't really care if black people love us. We care that white people love us. Look at Kanye. All that shit he was doing, it, it wasn't enough for black people to love him because we loved Kanye West. He had to be loved by the whites. And he even said it in his own rhymes to make it so sick. Made us hate ourselves and love they wealth. What the hell? Now look at you, Kanye. All you want to do is chase Oyimbo and be loved by whiteies and talk about the goddamn Jews. We loved you. Why wasn't we enough for you? No, you want to run off with them goddamn Kardashians. 
We want to be loved by others. We don't want to walk in the work with our with our afros out and some braids to feel more comfortable. We got to put a wig on. We can't show our hair. We want to be loved by them. Will this make them love me? How do white people, what do white people think about this? What if we did this? We can't do this. A billionaire, multi-millionaire black person has that going through their head. How will white people think about me? How will, how will white people think about me? No, 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 no. How will I think about me? How will my people think about me? I don't care that people don't like us. I care that people respect us. And thus we have to respect ourselves. That's why black people do anything. That's why we walk around shooting each other, acting ignorant and degenerate, shaking their ass and bouncing their ass on the red carpet all over the goddamn place. They don't care how they make black people look. As long as it's amusing to white folks. They have no care for that. They have no care for how black people think and what they have to say about them. But the minute somebody non-black says some shit about them, oh, what are we doing? We're making ourselves look bad in front of white folks. What are y'all doing? Da, 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 da. It, it, it's, it's terrible. Most Africans that come to America, they don't they don't give a fuck how black black Americans are uniting with us or or, or how we think and feel about them. They want the whites to love them. I guarantee I, I I get it. They want the power. They have the power, but why? Why do you care? Why do you look at them like gods? Because you don't study history and you don't know what really happened. And you don't study European history. You would know what really happened. You would know that it was the Muslims who came in and, and educated those people. You would know what the Romans and the Greeks really thought of the Northern and the Western Europeans. They thought that they were barbarians and that's exactly what they called them. Lastly, why do black people, all of us on earth, hate each other? hate themselves because we know a deep deep truth that we don't want to talk about and that truth is is a black man equal to a white man or any other man I don't believe in white supremacy blah 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 listen let me tell you right now let me answer that question for you no a black man is not equal to a white man <sighs> yeah you heard what I said your life is not equal to a white man's, and you know that. In America and even on the African continent, your life is not equal to a white person's, to a Chinese, to anybody else. A black person's life means nothing. It has meant nothing since the beginnings of slavery, and it still means lower till this day. Why does a black man's wife life mean nothing? Well, because there's no consequences. There's some consequences now because we fought back and when we get pushed against a wall, we have a, a jackal mentality, the Akata mentality, we will strike you back if you push us against the wall. But the main reason is because the black man has no power on this earth. That's why his life means nothing, that's why his woman's wife life means nothing. And why does a black man have no power? Well, it's this, it's that. Now, let me tell you, the black man has no power because black men can't work together. Because if we sit down at a table and we try to build a business, we try to do this, we try to do that, we try to do this, no pun intended, we get into a dick swinging contest. One of these black men will attack the other. It has happened in every civilization for the past two, maybe 2,500 years. The Egyptians, the Kushites, the Moors in Europe, the, the West African Muslims, the blacks in Haiti, they had it together, but they couldn't, they kicked ass in Haiti. Kick the French out, kick the Spanish out, kick the English ass asses, but they can't work together. It's always one attacking the other one. It's always some betrayal. We can't sit down and work to each other and look at each other like equals. It always has to be one over the other. And as long as that goes on, we will continue to be divided and destroyed. I am my brother's keeper. That's the way it has to be. We gotta get this together, and whoever ain't with it, they gotta go. Whether they a uh, college-educated Negro with a PhD, you're a coon, or a dude off the street who says, I ain't shit but a nigga, and I'm ready to blast another nigga. They got the same mentality. They don't want to say it. I said it before in another video. They got the same damn mentality. A lot of Africans believe another African ain't shit. And so when another African comes and does better than them, that pisses them the fuck off. That's where you get with that tribalism. Hey, to a degree, that's why a lot of African Americans don't like black immigrants. Because that pisses them off. You know what I said? I said, somebody, some white man actually told me, he said, you know who got the highest PhDs in the country? I said, who? Chinese? He said, nope, Nigerians. I said to myself, the Nigerians could do that. Once I looked into it and researched it, if the Nigerians could do it, I could do it. And somehow I did that shit. 
step away from a PhD from my grandfather who only made it to the third grade, and I believe his grandfather was born a slave. It's monumental, but it takes practice. And as we go into the future, we got to build something. We got to work together, black people. We got to work together, brothers. If you got a problem with me, pull me to the side and tell me. Tell me like your brother. Don't plot against me. Vice versa. We're not going to do nothing with the self-hate. And no one will ever respect you with the self-hate. White people don't respect Candace Owens. They look at her like a traitor, but she makes them feel good. Larry Elder, any of these coons, this coon that was just talking, they look at us like we're pathetic. Why? Because if they traded on their own kind, what will they do to you? We got to work together. And we got to train and we got to push harder and we got to build together. There's no other way. We got to be truthful about it. Be one.